In the last few days, Miu have just released an update to the firmware for the Miu Mini, and it's a big update. And the good news is that it's not just an update for the stock setup, but also includes an update for custom firmware as well, and Onion specifically. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how to get it, how to install it, we'll look at what's new, and compare the new firmware with the old. And at the end of this, I'll answer the question of how big a difference does it make, and should you bother? So let's get started. And I should warn you now that I found Mia's instructions not quite accurate, so it's worth paying attention to my experience. I've listed in the description the page where you can find all of the official updates for the Mio Mini. And you'll notice that there's now a new entry for April 2022. If you click on that, it'll take you through to the page for this latest update. And if all you're seeing is Chinese, then just install a Google Translate plugin for your browser and all will be revealed. Unless, of course, you happen to speak Chinese, of course, in which case, don't bother. A quick scan down the list of changes shows that there are quite a few changes, with audio fixes being pretty prominent among them. But there's also quite a few visual fixes to the UI, as well as one improvement that I'm personally really pleased to see, and that is the ability to use CHD files with the native PlayStation emulator. I'm not going to bore you by reading out all the changes, so if you're really interested in what they all are, then check the page for the firmware using the link I've provided. One thing I'm not sure of is whether the changes they made in the January firmware update are also included in here. With that update, they moved some things from internal storage to external storage in order to make future updates and custom firmware easier to implement. They haven't specified whether you need to have done the January firmware update before you do this one. Now, personally, I think that if you needed to have done that update, the January update, first, then they probably would have mentioned it. But if you are concerned, then by all means, do the January update first before doing this one. Obviously, make sure what version you're on before doing this. As if you've recently bought a Miu Mini, then you may very well find it comes with a January update already installed. The one I recently bought did. And if you don't know how to check the version, then just go to Settings, Device Info, and if the number starts 20220108, then you already have the January update installed. As always, it's a good idea to back up your micro SD card before making changes like this. I'm using a brand new Mio Mini, and I've just copied everything that was on the stock card to a folder on my computer. And as it's a brand new machine, and the stock card is just some dodgy looking no-name card, I'm gonna copy its contents to a card from a reputable brand. I'm using a 32 gig card here, as, well, it's all I've got lying around at the moment, but I found that a 128 gig card is like the optimal size for me to add all the ROMs I want access to. Whatever card size you use, make sure it's formatted as FAT32. I cover how to do this in a previous video, and there's a link to that below. So let's get on with installing the new firmware. We need to download the firmware from the Miu website. Just click on the Google NetDisk link, which will take you to this page. You'll be presented with two files. The first is the firmware, and the second is a useful PDF, which will give you a bit more information about this update. Right-click on each of these, select Download, and save them to your computer. Once the download is completed, then unzip the zip file. Now, the information on the website says second step copy firmware 0419 folder directly to the root directory of the TF card. I did this and then followed the rest of the instructions and shut down the Miu Mini. Popped the card in the slot and then connected the power using a maximum of five volt power supply. And this is what I got, which is nothing like the website said I was gonna get. At this point, I was worried that I'd bricked the device and had no idea what the stuff on the screen was supposed to be. So I went back to the unzipped file and read the instructions in there. These don't tell you to copy across the folder, but to copy across the .img file. 
which is inside the folder, which let's face it, makes perfect sense. And I was wondering why that wasn't the way they suggested on the website. So having done that, I kicked the process off again, and this is what happened. Again, not what they describe on the website, but at least I saw it saying it was doing the upgrade. Once it had all finished and I disconnected the power cable and powered on the Miu Mini, it booted up, it booted up fine and I checked the device info in the settings. And sure enough, it was now on the 19th of April 2022 firmware. So having established that, it's now on with the rest of the updates. Pop the card out the Miu Mini and put it back into your computer. The first thing you need to do is delete that .img file. You don't need it anymore. Inside the zip file that you unzipped, where the .img file was, are some folders. One of them is called tfcard1, and there's another called tfcard2. If you have stock firmware, then open up the tfcard1 folder. You're gonna need the contents of that folder. If you're using other firmware, such as Onion, then the tfcard2 folder contains the files you need. The procedure is the same for a stock or custom. Only the folder you use will differ. I'm using a new Mio Mini with stock firmware, so I'll be using the contents of the TF Card 1 folder. The first thing you need to do is to delete the Mio folder from your card. Once you've done that, go to whichever of the TF Card folders is relevant to the firmware you are using. One for stock or two for custom. And drag and drop the four folders from it and drop them into the root of the card. If you're prompted to overwrite existing files, then just say yes. Once you've done that, you can eject the card, put it back into your Miu Mini, and start it up. The instructions say to make sure that you turn on the audio correction if you're using stock, and turn off the sound correction if you're using a custom firmware, or front end, such as Onion. You can find the place to do this under Settings, and then Fix, and just choose whatever is appropriate for your device. So what's different? There are a number of obvious things that jump out. The first one is that it seems to take slightly longer to start up, but only by a tiny bit, maybe a, a second, and that's hardly something to complain about. The default theme is different, and under the new firmware, you now have two places where you can control the look and feel of your device. The first of these is under settings. There's now a theme section where you can choose from a range of pre-installed themes. There's a pretty decent variety in there, and they're, they're well worth playing with. The second place is in the app section, where you can find something called Swap Skin Tool, and this seems to change the wallpaper or background. I thought this would maybe present me with a list I could choose from, and when I pressed on the option, nothing seemed to happen. But then I noticed the wallpaper had changed. It all works, but you have little to no control over what you're choosing. I guess it's a useful addition to the theme changer then. While we're in the settings section, there is also a new option to power off at the top of the list, and the fixes option that I've already mentioned. It's just a shame that the new options in the settings section don't have icons next to them, like all of the other options do. It just makes them look like Miu couldn't be bothered, which is a shame, as it does look like a lot of time and effort has gone into this update. Moving to the app section, there's the new swap skin tool that I mentioned, but the other options are the same. So the File Manager app is still in Chinese, and I still have absolutely no idea what any of the options in it say, rendering it utterly useless to me. One thing that has been updated in here, though, is RetroArch, which not only looks much better, but has also been updated to version 1.10.2, which is only just behind the current version, and a welcome jump from the previously installed 1.9.6. I haven't had much of a chance to play with the RetroArch section of the menu, but th there are fewer options in here now. And honestly, I think that is a result of them rationalising and reducing a lot of the duplication and redundancy that existed in the previous firmware. The RetroArch and Games sections feel a bit more coherent than they were before. The Games section now has more options in it, with the Atari 2600 and 7800 now being listed and populated. And the arcade games have been split out into Arcade, Final Burn Neo, 
main 2010 and main plus. I haven't had a chance to play around with the system and find out what, if any, performance improvements there are in gameplay. But I'm hoping to do that fairly soon. But as it stands, this is a fantastic update and for me, definitely worth installing. And I'm really pleased that Miu are standing behind their product and updating it like this. And not only that, but helping those that have chosen to go with alternative front ends, such as Onion. It's something to really be commended. So will you be updating your Miu Mini to this version? What feature are you most looking forward to? Let me know in the comments section below.